En el contexto del 2015, Año de México en el Reino Unido, dos destacadas voces de la poesía de esa nación ofrecieron una lectura de sus poemas en el antiguo colegio de San Ildefonso. En una conferencia previa, los autores describieron como saludable el estado de la poesía en el Reino Unido, pese a que habitualmente se dicen artículos que ya no se lee tanto ese género. Andrew Motion, quien ha recibido las más altas distinciones en su país, ejemplifica la vitalidad de la poesía con un sitio web que él mismo ha impulsado. When I was poet laureate, a friend and I set up something called the Poetry Archive, which is an online collection of poets, English language poets, reading their own work. And we now have 300,000 people using it every month. Yeah. Owen Shears destaca que frente a las nuevas plataformas tecnológicas, la poesía no se ve afectada. My own writing, really nothing has changed because I still write on the page and I write for the page and I write for that unknown single reader. Porque, you know, I still think of poetry as being one of the most immediate forms of communication. Because there is no intermediary, there is no film director, there is no conductor. Esta es la tercera vez que Owen Shears visita México y la primera para Andrew Motion, maestro de escritura creativa en Oxford. Él pone de antemano la poesía como valor humano para la comunicación. Everybody in this room, in one way or another, has grown up to expect that they can speak about poems in quite a sophisticated way. Owen does this a, a lot on telly. Oh. I'm, I'm a teacher, so I do, do a, talk to my students in as, as smart a way as I can. But actually, poetry is an incredibly primitive thing. I mean, really, absolutely basic and primitive thing. And, and if in our sophistications we ever forget that, then something has gone badly wrong. Noticias 22, Víctor Gaspar.